I am a photographer. I see the world in opportune moments, when the world positions itself just so for that perfect shot. Now, maybe some wouldn't guess it, but at the heart of more advanced photography is a lot of math. The technology and point-and-shoot digital cameras nowadays take care of a lot of it for us, but to take that perfect shot, you gotta know what the numbers on that screen mean. There are equations for everything, and I mean everything. Aperture, shutter speed, exposure. The camera is a machine, and like all other machines, math is used to express how it moves and in what manners. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on two very, very important aspects of photography, aperture and shutter speed. Now to understand aperture, you also have to understand focal length. Focal length is measured in millimeters and is basically the length of your lens. Lower number focal lengths are for when the photographer is closer up and higher numbers for farther away. Aperture is about the amount of light that is allowed to pass through the lens of the camera and processed into your shot. Now as you can imagine, this is pretty important. Light can make or break your shot, so you want to choose precisely. The aperture, or the diameter of the shutter, is referred to and expressed as the f-stop. Now, where's the math? Well, aperture is measured in f over stop numbers. This is best represented in an equation. The equation for aperture is d equals f over s. d representing the diameter of the shutter, which is what we're looking for, f representing focal length, and s representing the stop number. A stop number is an adjustment in aperture, or the diameter of the shutter, that is marked with a number. They are in increments of powers of the square root of 2. F-stop numbers are rounded off for convenience. So, to find your aperture, you plug in your focal length number in millimeters and your F-stop number, and that is your aperture. These here are the most common F-stop numbers, and these, unfortunately, would just have to be memorized if you weren't relying on your camera, or else with all the math you'd be doing, you'd never catch your shot. You plug in these numbers in the d equals f over s equation in the s spot to find your aperture. Of course, everybody's camera is different, but once you start using these apertures and know how they work, you can better know how your camera works and better know how to take great photos. If you hadn't already noticed, the aperture numbers are in a geometric sequence. Now, as important as how much light you let into the camera is how long you let it in for. That's why shutter speed comes into play. The shutter opens and closes for times measured in seconds. These times are recorded and correspond to the aperture which they best pair with for the most ideal light for that combination. The rule of thumb for most photographers is that your shutter speed should be 1 over focal length. I have. My most sincere thanks to anybody who took the time to watch the video and the MathoVision judges for their consideration. Thanks for watching.